Now I gotta ask you something. You know, we gotta get you some commandments now, bro. Okay. Now we gotta get you some commandments. So let's get fringes. No more shopping 15. Then we gotta get fringes for that. Cause a lot of people don't know how you doing, sister. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Cause a lot of people don't sit, sister, brother. We're bringing out the commandments of God, all right? So listen to this. Read what you got. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your God's children, chosen people, the Israelites. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes. Bid means command them. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Brother Christopher, for the men, this is the border of our garment right here, our shirt. We put fringes on to do what? Throughout their generations. Every generation, as long as we have children on the planet Earth, we continue to do this from the beginning to now. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue right here. The Hebrews different colored blues, but the Lord said put a ribbon of blue on with your fringes. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So, so God told us to put us on our clothes as a reminder to remember to keep the commandments. You ever seen those pictures with a string tied around the finger? There's an old picture to remind you to remember something. Read. And that you seek, excuse me, and, and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes. You see that? So we don't follow after our own thoughts and our own heart and our own eyes. We got to do what the Lord tells us to do. Give me, first, hold that. First give me Matthew chapter 11 and verse 8. I want to read this for you, sis. Because when we come out of this Bible, this Bible, God shows us how to love our people. Yes, your child just walked by? That's, that's my niece, but we never had none of this. I've been here seven months. I'm from South Carolina. Mother okay. Me. You got children? I got children. Oh, yeah. Yo, your son Timothy. When you correct your, you correct your children because you love them, right? I'm miracle. And sometimes too. when you correct them, it may be a little hard on them. But guess what? That's your baby, though. You love them. So watch, a lot of times we come out this Bible with sharp people correction, they get mad at us. Mm -hmm. We have people want to kill us mm -hmm. because we love our people. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew chapter 11 and verse up 6. Read. Matthew chapter 11 verse 6 mm -hmm. And blessed is he Whosoever shall not Be offended in me Now see you got a tattoo right said bless The Lord said bless in him Who are not offended by the laws that come out of this Bible Because this right. is what love is So jump back to 1st Timothy We're going to show you some love real quick says, read. 1st Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 Come on. In like manner also That women adorn themselves In modest apparel And the women that God is talking about in particular are his children, the right. so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women. God told his beautiful daughters to adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right. Because yes, yes. God is the author of beauty. And guess what? What his daughters got, it ain't for everybody. Huh? It's only for his sons. And right. his sons that's married to his daughters. Mm -hmm. Read. With shamefacedness mm -hmm. and sobriety, mm -hmm. not with broided hair mm -hmm. or gold or pearls or costly array. So that beauty is not only contracted on the outer, it's going on the inner as well. Yeah. But guess what? Go to uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. We're going to show you what it means to be blessed. Because guess what? Contrary to belief, you see that place right there? That place is going to tell you the truth. This place right here hate our people in the community. Okay. They hate the church, hate our community. Right. These are doctrines given by our enemies to our brothers oh, to I'm teach blessed. us to keep us below. What? This is what it means to be blessed. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 14. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that what? That do his commandments. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Yes. So God said, blessed are those that do his commandments. So sis, guess what one of the commandments of God is? Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. One thing is our sisters have to dress modest. That's one of the right. commandments. Now I'm bringing out to the sister earlier. Excuse me. I was bringing out to the sister earlier that the most precious things on earth are hard to get to. They're hard to get to. They're covered up. They're put away. So guess what? If you've been, a, if y'all been the daughters of God, guess what? You should be covered up. Yes. It shouldn't be for everybody yes. to be accessible to. All praise and sister agree. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so uh -huh. are abomination uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. And uh -huh. brother Christopher, uh -huh. is an abomination a good or bad thing? It's horrible. It's oh. a horrible thing. Sister, what you think? Abomination a good or bad thing? It's a bad thing. God said men that put on women's garments, 
and men that put on men, women that put on men's clothes, God said it's an abomination. That's a horrible thing. That's a horrible, and guess what? It puts a spirit on you. For men, you can't. For men, wearing women's clothes and putting a feminine spirit on them. For women, man, men's clothes and put a masculine spirit on them. Proverbs 72. Proverbs 72. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hold on, one second. I'm gonna bring the scripture out real fast for the sister. All right, give me one second, brother. One second. One second. Proverbs 72. I want you to remember this, sister. You know you're an Israelite. You got some commandments. Y'all buy y'all some pretty dresses. Cover your bodies, cause it ain't for every Negro and other heathens out here to see y'all y'all bodies. Right. It's for your husbands. Make sure y'all put fringes on them. And I want to leave you with this. Proverbs 72. Proverbs chapter seven, verse two. Come on. Keep my commandments and live. God said, keep. His commandments and live. Yes. So if you yes. break God's commandments, what come, if you keep his commandments, you live. So yes. if you break his commandments, what happens? It's a sin. Yes. It's a sin. And what's, yes. the, way, what's the wages of sin? Uh, the wages of sin is the hell. It's death. Yes. Now, we in hell right now. Yes. We in hell right now. Yes. Give me Isaiah 5. We in hell right now because we're breaking God's commandments. Yes. So right now what we're doing is teaching our brothers and sisters repentance so they can return back to God. Because guess what? I don't want to see y'all here when this place get destroyed. Oh no. That precious baby right there. I don't want to see that baby get destroyed when this place, this place is going up in flames. It sure is. Forever. And, God and guess what? Everybody that's not in order with God's commandments, they're yeah. going to be burning too. Yes, and I don't want to see that for my people. That's why we come out here yeah. where our people at, where our people flick that. Read what you got. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. You in hell right now. Read. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity Come on. because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished. We're going into captivity because we have no knowledge of who we are. We don't know we're Israelites. So we guess we out here eating unclean food. We sell drugs to each other. We kill each other. We lie to each other. We steal from each other. We do what we think is right in our mind. Read. And their multitude dried up with thirst. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. What has enlarged itself? Hell has enlarged herself. This is hell on earth. Right. It's enlarged itself. Why? Because more and more black, Hispanic, and Native American people continue to break God's laws. Mm -hmm. So the more babies we have, and then we teach those babies sinful things, hell enlarges itself. And when they have children and they learn more sinful things, hell gets even bigger. Read and opened her mouth without measure. And opened her mouth without measure. Why does it say hell open her mouth without measure? Because hell continues to grow more and more the more of our people fall into sin. Nation is men leading by example.